Adobe Illustrator has a variety of tools for drawing paths, including the pencil tool for creating fluid, beautiful curves and straight paths. To complete the artwork for this project, you'll start by drawing with the pencil tool, then you'll set some pencil tool settings, and finally you'll finish the artwork for the ship out here. If you want to follow along, you can open this practice file from the downloadable practice files for this tutorial. Then to see all the artwork, choose View, Fit All in Window. On the left is artwork you'll add the final shapes to using the pencil tool. When you finish the ship artwork on the left, you'll drag it over to the artboard on the right. Select the zoom tool in the tools panel on the left and drag across the upper left part of the artboard with the ship on it so you can zoom in. To select the pencil tool and begin drawing, click and hold down on the shaper tool in the tools panel on the left. If a window opens, you can click to close it. Click and hold down on the shaper tool again and select the pencil tool. To set the stroke color and the stroke weight for the line you're about to draw with the pencil tool, click the stroke color in the properties panel on the right of the document, and with the swatches selected, make sure that black is chosen. Also, make sure the stroke weight is set to one. The fill in this case doesn't matter since the fill of the paths you draw with the pencil tool will be removed. To the left of the ship in a blank area, click and drag to create a curved path with the pencil tool. Drawing with the pencil tool is a lot like drawing with a pencil and paper. Even slight variations will show. To make paths you draw with the pencil tool smoother, you can edit the pencil tool settings. Click the Tool Options button in the Properties panel on the right, and the Tool Options appear in the dialog box. Drag the top slider all the way to the right to smooth. That way the paths you draw will look smoother. Click OK and try drawing another curved path with the pencil tool to see the effect. Notice how the path is smoother after you release the mouse button. Now you'll draw a part of the ship. You can follow these aqua guides if you like as you draw. Starting in the corner here, click and drag to begin drawing with the pencil tool and follow the aqua guides as best you can. When you return to the beginning of the path, a circle will show next to the pointer, meaning that the path will be closed when you release the mouse button. So release the mouse button to close the path. Notice that this corner down here really isn't a corner. With the pencil tool, you can also redraw parts of a path, even paths not created with the pencil tool. Move the pointer onto the path. The asterisk next to the pencil icon will disappear. Redraw the part of the path you want, finishing on the existing path. To change the color fill of the shape, click the fill color in the properties panel to the right of the document, make sure the swatches option is selected, and select this tan color. Now you'll drag to another part of the document. Press the space bar to access the hand tool temporarily, and drag in the document window so you can see the aqua guides at the bottom of the artboard. Then release the space bar. Now you'll draw this shape, following the guides if you want. This time you'll see how to draw a straight line with the pencil tool. Starting here, before drawing, press the Option key on Mac or Alt key on Windows to begin drawing a straight line. When a line appears next to the pencil pointer, drag to create a straight line down here. Without releasing the mouse button, release the key and continue drawing along the aqua guide. When you come to the top line of the aqua guide, which needs to be straight, with the mouse button still held down, press the Option key on Mac or Alt key on Windows, draw a straight line across the top. When the pointer reaches where you started, a circle appears next to it, release the mouse button, and then the key. To set the fill color for the shape you just drew, click the fill color in the Properties panel, make sure the Swatches option is selected, and select this orange. So you can see all the artwork, choose View, Fit All in Window. To complete the artwork, select the Selection Tool in the Tools panel, drag across the original two paths you created, and press Backspace or Delete to delete them. Then, drag across all the ship shapes to select them, and drag one of the selected shapes to the artboard on the right. Drawing with the Pencil Tool can be really fun and give you a tool for creating fluid paths easily. Like with all of the tools in Illustrator, 
take your time and practice creating in your own projects. You can save a copy of this file by choosing File, Save As, and make sure to give it a different name so you don't overwrite the original practice file. 